I'm Dr. Natasha Berger, and I blog on KC Kids Doc. This is our first vlog, and I wanted to do it on a topic that's really important, and that's crib safety. We've heard a lot of things in the media about how we can keep our kids safe in their cribs. We've heard about drop-down side cribs, we've heard about bumpers, positioners, video monitors, and next month in pediatrics will be a report that talks about kids falling out of their cribs and other injuries that happen there. Our kids spend at least a third of their time in their crib, and most of that time is unsupervised. So now is the time where we can review what a safe crib looks like, both the crib itself, inside, and outside. The first thing to check is your crib itself. Is everything fastened securely? Or the crib slats should not be any more than 2 and 3 eighths inches apart, and most newer cribs are. If you have a drop down side, you want to make sure that it's very secure, that the latches are going to fit tight and the side's not going to fall when the kid's unattended. And then finally, is your mattress at the right height? The higher height mattress is fine for infants, but as soon as your baby starts sitting, you need to drop it down to the lowest level. This is what a typical crib looks like when you're out shopping for nursery furniture or looking at nursery magazines. Let's look at what's inside. You have the quilts and the blankets that grandma probably made, a quilted bumper pad, toys, and plush toys. These are all suffocation risks for infants. And the infant monitors. They have cords, and cords are strangulation risks. In fact, one company of a video monitor had millions recalled because the cord was too close to the baby. Anything with a cord needs to be at least three feet away, or it's a strangulation risk. All of this stuff, even though it makes the cribs look really pretty, they are hazardous and risky. We need to get this stuff out of here. Now that we have removed all of those things, we are left with a crib that may not be as pretty, but it's definitely safer for our babies. And if we can have our kids in the safest sleep environments possible, we can all rest better at night.